Uh, Pak Hendra, this is JP Ong. You, you mentioned a while ago that of only about 10% of Indonesia's potential geothermal capacity has actually been built out, and there is room to actually maximize that as well in the future, given your efforts and also some of your peers listing on the stock exchange, planning to build out more um, uh, uh, possible geothermal plants. Just how much more of that potential 90% that's still on the table, how much of that is uh, Barito Renewables looking to try to capture based on their future project plans? Uh, well, I think in in the in our portfolio, we have currently we are operating 900. Uh, by end of this year, we are operating 900 megawatt of geothermal power plant. Uh, and going forward, we're going to increase to approximately uh, the next two years another 100 megawatt. So by end of 2026. 2007, we're going to grow by approximately 1,000 megawatt. And uh, we still have uh, additional uh, undeveloped resources of approximately 1,000 megawatts up in the Sumatra and up in, in the eastern part of Indonesia. So we hope by 2020, 2028 and 2029, we will be able to achieve approximately 1,270 megawatt. Now, um, uh, uh, yes, uh, so Pahendra, uh, Temur alluded a while ago to the fact that it's been quite slow for Indonesia to actually capitalize on this uh on the, the potential for geothermal. Now, perhaps I'm wondering if it's something to do with actually with the cost of setting up some of these geothermal plants. Can you give us an idea of how much it costs to actually set this up? And based on the $200 million roughly that you raised from the IPO, is that going to be enough to fund your projects short-term and long-term based on the average cost and expense of setting up some of these uh, geothermal plants that Indonesia is struggling to get online faster now? Sure. I think the, uh, well, the cost for to build a geothermal power plant is approximately around four to six million per megawatt. Yeah. And uh, in this exercise, from, from this IPO exercise, we got approximately 200 million US dollars. But mostly, majority of those proceeds will be used to actually reduce our uh, existing leverage. And the balance will be used to purchase more stake in our existing geothermal power plant. Yeah, I think the, 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 the key point. The, the, the main reasons for us uh, why we do this IPO is is number one is the, is to set the valuation benchmark or another data point to value renewables uh, companies, especially companies that uh, operate geothermal power plants. And uh, compared to other renewable power plants, obviously uh, geothermal power plant is, 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 is more difficult to build. Uh, it, it requires highly skilled technicians and operators to maintain its optimal capacity. So it has a very high barriers to entry. And uh, it also offer more reliable and produce a baseload energy with this country uh, need yeah, to replace a fossil fuel based uh, power plant. Okay. Uh, for that reasons, we believe uh, it deserves a pre premium in terms of valuations. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.